this video we're making our uh, barely highly sought after zucchini patties. We're going to make a double batch of those and then we're probably going to break it up into two videos but there will be another one about how we're making this pork dish that's going to be breaded and fried and well, you'll see. Anyway, so <clears throat> with our zucchini patties, the first thing we do is we start with our grated zucchini. We washed our zucchini really good and then we don't have to peel it or anything. We just cut the end off, not the end with the stem, but the other, the far end. And um, then we use the coarsest uh, grinding spot on your box grinder is what you can use. If you have a food processor and you want to use that, you can use that. Okay. And uh, oh, and by the way, I apologize if you see any construction debris or tools or anything in the video. We are in the process of redoing this kitchen. But that's another video. Uh, but it is driving the wife crazy. And remember, if you want to have a happy life with your wife, my pastor said there's only two things you need to know. The only problem is nobody knows what they are. Anyway, so we have our uh, grated zucchini. We have some very finely chopped onion here. We're going to dump in four eggs, whole egg. Uh, we have, we love garlic. I highly suggest you try it this way too. We have some crushed garlic here. Uh, that's probably about 10 cloves. Salt, pepper, oregano. Throw that all in. And we're gonna throw in our grated cheese. Okay. And our mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, which we like Dukes. So we've got our Dukes mayonnaise we're going to throw in there. Now before we put in our flour, we're going to mix this all up good because I find that if you throw the flour in too early, when you go to mix it, it, it just, it kind of, it doesn't spread as well. It doesn't get evenly distributed. Or, well, the flour does, but all of these things, if they get sucked up a little bit in the flour, then it just, I don't know, it just, they just don't seem to come out the same. So we're going to mix this all here first really good. <clears throat> now, if you notice tonight, I have my camouflage apron on from Lodge. We're representing here because we really like Lodge cast iron products. We have probably about 40 different skillets and pots and pans uh, from them uh, that we just absolutely love. Uh, they're made in the United States. Their quality is very good. They'll last forever if you treat them right. And it's not hard to treat them right. They're not very demanding. Uh, and that's a separate video on how to clean the pan. But we'll show you that too. And now, now that we have that mixed up nice, oh, it smells like it's getting happy. Now we're going to sprinkle about half of that flour in there. Mix that in. Kind of fold it a little bit. Don't want to make a big dusty mess really makes the wife upset. I do the cooking, she does the cleaning. I think I have a good deal, she thinks she has a good deal. Makes happy, makes happy, happy house. Okay. So get that, that flour is mixed in there pretty good, so we're gonna get the rest of the flour in here. Mix that in. Speaking of the wife, she's my camera person. Thank you, honey. Hmm. But she's over there like a cat stalking a mouse, waiting for these patties to come out of the pan. All right. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to get our pan. We're going to turn our pan on low. While we were mixing up our ingredients, we had our pan on low here, uh, or <clears throat> about medium. Cast iron pan. Doesn't require as much heat as an aluminum pan. This is our large 10 inch skillet here. It's a great universal size, works for a lot of things. All right, so it's just about up to temperature now. We're gonna drizzle some olive oil in here like this. And then we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tablespoon and we're gonna put a 
scoop this in here like this, right? Smush that around a little because we prefer them to be small and more bite size. You can make them any size you want. I suggest that you take the back of the spoon though and you smush it down a little bit so that it's not too thick. Otherwise, it, it takes a lot longer for it to really cook inside. for the heat to do its magic. <clears throat> We're gonna let them sizzle a little bit here and we want them to get lightly browned on the bottom before we flip them. It's gonna take a few minutes and then we'll flip them over and we'll just keep doing that until we have them all done. See you in a few minutes. As you can see, due to the miracle of time and a little time in that hot oil, that we have all these patties done and they look really good. Now, it's chef's privilege. I get to taste this. I have to make sure. That doesn't look like the chef's hand. You look like the chef's hand to you? We have to make sure that they're good. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I guess the big boss likes them too. They came out delicious. You gotta try them too. Enjoy. Enjoy.